Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of what's new in Autodesk Nastran in CAD. I'm Mitch Munsey, product manager for the Nastran products. First off, a big round of applause to the development team. This release is six months after our 2016 subscription advantage pack, which already had quite a big content, and they were able to pull off another packed release with just a few months of hardcore development time. We've got about 30 new features in this release, and I'll try to quickly highlight some of my favorites. The first thing you'll notice when entering the Autodesk Nastran in CAD environment are the new icons. We've updated the look and feel of the ribbon as well as the tree. These new icons provide a more standardized appearance. Next, for this model we'll want to swap out some of the components and replace them with springs. To do this we could have created a custom level of detail for our simulation model but now we can exclude components directly from the NCAD tree. You can tell an item is excluded by its transparent appearance. If you'd like to hide it entirely you can also turn off its visibility. Next, we'll create our connectors. We'll start by creating the rigid elements at the center of our parts. Now we have an option for our rigid elements to automatically create this center point for us. It'll create a new point in Inventor that can be used for the rigid element and for other elements as well. Next, we'll connect the ridges together with spring elements. We can use the center points that were created. Next, we'll apply a remote force to where the head tube is connected. We'll assume it's coming in from the handlebars. One of the new options we have is to automatically display the coordinate system that is active for your loads and constraints. This is helpful in making sure the direction is correct. We also added the ability to select a face chain. This is useful for applying loads or constraints to all connected faces like you would have with an internal pressure or maybe a confection load. One of my new favorite features, which is already getting quite a bit of use, is the ability to use units in math and dialog boxes. For instance, if we wanted to apply our load in Newtons, we could just type it in here directly and Autodesk Nastran NCAD will handle the conversion. For the remote load, we have a new feature where we can specify the location using coordinate values. For this model, I know the location of the handlebars and I can input that directly. Finally, we added the ability to specify mesh control on solid parts. This allows you to specify a global mesh size that applies to all parts, but refine the mesh or adjust the mesh on individual solids. Now let's take a look at a model that was created using Frame Generator. As soon as you launch into the NCAD environment, it will automatically idealize your solids as beams. If you edit the beam idealization, you can view the properties or update the cross section with a different value. Next, I'll quickly create some constraints in a gravity load. Again, you'll see that coordinate system show up. Earlier we showed how we could use different units, so this time let's create a gravity load and we'll enter 6g in the minus y direction using the math expressions directly in our value fields. Now I'll click Run and we'll talk about a few new things that just happened. First you'll see that the mesh is automatically created if the model wasn't mesh first. Next, we change it so that the NCAD analysis files are stored in a subdirectory to help keep things a little bit better organized. We'll also now be able to tell if the results being imported are for the correct model and worn accordingly. If you've ever imported the wrong results and saw a bit of a big spike ball, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Now when we first display the results, I want you to watch the ribbon. We've made it interactive so if you're viewing the results, there's more content for results. Once you hide the display, it reverts back. We've also added object visibility to the ribbon. This allows you to turn things off and on from here for the document rather than just adjusting them on the global settings. Next, let's talk about the new mini toolbar we added. This is for quick access to the results. You'll see that we have a filter for the different type of results that we want to view. We've done something similar if you edit the results display. This also allows you to quickly get to the result you want to view without having to sort through a thousand Nastran output vectors. We've also added the ability to control the units on the output as well. We can quickly switch to Pascal and view our results in a different unit system. Now we've always had a way to interrogate our results by right clicking on the elements or nodes and going to query, but the new functionality is using the probe. If you click on the screen you can place the probes, you can move these probes around if you like, and once you're done you can click on the ribbon to remove them. Alright everyone, that's it for me. I hope you're as excited as we are about some of these new features and you get a chance to try them out soon. See you next time.